Today we are going to talk about money. See, I'm smiling because money is very important and very interesting. So we're making two um, videos about money. This one is the first one. It's the introduction. It's um, to put some foundation into the subject. And the next video will be the five things to do with money. That's the one that uh, you want to know the five things to do with money. Very, very important. But for this one, we will be talking about some foundations you need to have about the subject of money. So this is Money Matters. Um, so let's start from talking generally. And this video is particularly targeted at a Christian um, because money to the christian is slightly different from money to the non-believer to the non-believer money is uh, is a tool that you use to acquire things to the believer money is a weapon that you use to populate the kingdom of god and to frustrate the kingdom of darkness so um, when it comes to a child of god money in your hand is is a terrible thing to the kingdom of darkness that's why um, an unbeliever can do a business or make an investment and sometimes it goes smoother. And when the believer tries to go into it, he has new challenges, new things to deal with. It's just because the devil knows that if we leave money in the hands of a believer, uh, it's a weapon. It's a weapon. So this video, I'm particularly talking to Christians to be careful, um, to understand the value of money and then to be careful how you manage money what you do with money so let's talk about three things uh, basically that um, relates money to the child of god the first one is a bit silly is to emphasize the fact that money is good now um, to many christians born in this generation i believe there's been a lot of talk about money in this generation that we we tend to agree that money is good yeah money is good but if you were born in my generation, in the, in, you know, back in the days when to talk about money in church or to put money and holiness in the same sentence, it's like, it's like, it's not right. You cannot be holy and be talking money. You cannot be holy and be involved with too much money. Like uh, money is the root of all evil, basically. And that's not true. Uh, money is not the root of all evil. The love of money, the the when you begin to interact with money as if it's your god or it's your your life partner you know you are in love with money and you're building your life around money and money becomes your master that is the root of all evil but money itself is good and i'm just taking this minute to emphasize to christians especially those in my generation who still struggle with that fact if you get a billion dollars and you sin you were going to sin when you had one dollar you just didn't find the opportunity to sin. Money is not the, 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 the root of all evil. It is the love. It is how you handle money. Like they say, money is a, a very good servant, but a very bad master. So the first thing I want to say about money is that we have to disabuse our mind from that thinking that, let me be careful, let me not get too much money so I don't sin against God. Um, if, I, if I talk too much about money, if I chase money too much, maybe I'll begin to sin. Money is good. Yeah? That's the first thing. Money is good. So, like I say, younger people, you mostly agree with that money is good. In fact, maybe there's too much talk about money in this generation. Um, the second thing is that money is necessary. So, money is just not, it's not a nice to have. It's a necessity. How do you say it? Co-necessary. <laughs> Unnecessary. You know, the necessary. <laughs> okay. That, don't mind, Kike. So... Um, money is necessary. Money is, is essential. You cannot live life and fulfill all your dreams and purpose without money. It's impossible. If you are the most anointed person in the world and you have no money, like Ben Simidahosa say, you just have annoyance. Um, anointing without money is annoyance. Without money, you can't get your dreams to come to pass. You can't fulfill your purpose on earth. You can't do all the things you want to do. So you need money. You, it is a necessity in life there are things that god can give you that don't require money for example god can give you a beautiful wife like my wife um, that 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 doesn't require money to find her uh, but to keep her 
<laughs> you are going to need some money. You are going to need a lot of money. She says plenty. Look at her. <laughs> you are going to need a lot of money to, 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 to marry the beautiful wife that God gives you. To all the bills you are going to pay. And when you start planning a wedding, you understand all that. Money is necessary. Okay? So, God can give you anointing. Um, money will give you the hall and the instruments and everything you need to fulfill your ministry. Okay? Um, God can give you salvation, but you won't buy those Bibles if you don't have money. Okay? So, the subject there is, is if, you, if you read in the Bible, in the book of Matthew chapter 6, um, I think it's, no, it's not Matthew chapter 6. That's Ecclesiastes chapter 10. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 19. Let me just go to that. It's, it's very important. Ecclesiastes 10, 19. It says a feast is made for laughter. So if you want to laugh, you go, go and watch 9 to 1000 Love or AYA Live. Yeah. A feast is made for you to laugh. Then it says wine is to make merry. So if you're bored and you want to be, if you're down, you drink wine. Yeah. But it says, but money answereth all things. So everything has their purpose. The wine has its purpose. The feast has its purpose. But money, its assignment is to answer to things. That's why it's very necessary. Money is an answering machine. So if you have questions that are related to things, okay, you want to buy a ring for the girl, that's a thing. Money is going to say, excuse me, I'm here. You cannot get the thing without me. So money is the answer to things. God gives you wisdom, but for you to convert your wisdom to wealth and to money and to prosperity, you will need money to drive that thing in your head, that idea in your head, into a reality. Okay? God gives you anointing, you need money to make a ministry. God gives you a, a beautiful girl, you need money to make it into um, a bride. God gives you an idea to build a home, you are going to need some money to be able to make it into, into a home. Okay? A real home. It requires money. So, if there are things, then you need money. Basically, that's just, it's, it, it's, it's the answering machine. The third thing I want to say, so I've said money is good, money is necessary, and now I'm saying money is a weapon. And I've, I've talked about this in the beginning of the, of the video. Money is a weapon in the hand of a child of God. If you don't know the, the purpose of money, that's when you abuse it, when when. When the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. So, uh, if you understand as a child of God that money is God giving you, God equipping you, God giving you weapon, okay, then you can use money correctly and not abuse money, okay. Uh, there's a school of thought that even argues that money is spiritual and that um, if you take care of money, money tends to stay around you. The Bible says, He that gathereth, yeah. He's holding the money. He's not willing to spend it. He's gathering. He tends to poverty. He's holding it, right? And hoarding. Yeah, thank you. He's hoarding the money. <laughs> you, are, you, are, you are canning it and you're not spending, okay? Then, um, it says there is that scattereth. So the one that gives, that spends. Money tends to enjoy that kind of environment. And, and the Bible says that person that is scattering will always gather. So money like a spirit enjoys where it's been treated nice, where you're spending it, you're using it, you're investing it, you're giving, you're buying, you're selling, whatever you're doing. But if you just hold money and keep it, then money is not your friend. Money doesn't like that kind of environment. Okay? So, money is a weapon in the hand of a child of God. The last thing I'm going to say on this video before I go to the one that talks about the five things to do with money, okay? Which, you don't want to miss that. Um, the last thing I'm going to say is in Matthew chapter 6, I was talking about it before, Matthew chapter 6, verse 19 and verse 20. So that's a very interesting scripture about money. You know what it says? It says that if uh, um, we should not lay treasure um, where thieves can break in and steal. So he's talking about investment. He's saying don't make investments that will fail. Don't put your investments in places that tomorrow the Savannah Bank has closed and, and all your money is gone. Yeah? The question now is, you are not an economist. Even the best of economists cannot predict entirely um, how an investment will turn out. Yeah? They cannot predict that. So, but the Bible is saying, don't invest where it will fail. How will you be able to do that? Verse 20 answers that. Verse 20 says, put your investment, put your treasure in heaven. 
So there is a place called heaven. Heaven is God's place. It's, it's where God, uh, God functions. So what he's saying is that involve God in your investments. So the last thing I want to say about money in this video is if you are a child of God, do not make any money decisions without involving God. You have to use the benefit of the Holy Spirit in you. You have to bounce it off him and have and just pray about it and say, God, they say this thing is making money and then everybody's rushing to it. But just take a minute and bounce it off God because it's a partnership. Money in your hand is a weapon. God is investing for kingdom. So you have to partner with him. Like the best way to manage this money, the best thing is to do with this money so it works. So you don't put it in the place and thieves uh, break into steal or you lose the money because of careless investments. Okay, you need the best of economic advice and the best... Uh, investment and portfolio managers and all that information but at the end of the day you bring all that information together and you take it to god and say what do you think about this that's how to make safe investment that's the only sure way to make safe investments you get all the investment information you need and you bring it and put it with god and make and and put your treasure in heavenly places that's where the thieves cannot break in and the moths cannot break in that's that's a safe investment so if you are a child of god money is a weapon in your hand involve god in your management of money and that's how you make investments that are safe okay so i'm going to stop here i talked a bit about money money is good money is necessary money is a weapon in the hand of a child of god um, and if you want to make safe investments do it with god so in the next video now, I'm going to go into detail on the five things to do with money. So you want to stay tuned. In the meantime, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it, and ding the notification bell so that you'll be notified when the new videos come out. Um, if you have a comment or anything about what I'm saying, or you have something to add or question, please put them in the comment down below. And thank you for listening.